It's a kind of an interesting story about Abraham Lincoln, plus vaudeville kind of stuff thrown in. And as you got your drama, and you got your comedy, and a lot of funny things. It, it's really about um, uh, this trial in uh, Menard County, which is where Abraham Lincoln was born and raised. And it's a, it concerns a school teacher who um, inserted to her school pageant that uh, the possibility that Abraham Lincoln might be gay, and then the kind of controversy that ensues from that, and, and comic hijinks. <laughs> What ends up happening in the play is that we get to see the controversy through the perspectives of three different people. A reporter from uh, New York City, uh, a, a person who's the defense attorney, and then uh, a person who is the prosecutor. And their stories interlock in a kind of wonderful Rubik's Cube fashion. The audience gets to decide in true democratic fashion every night um, whose act we'll see first. It kind of doesn't matter which act comes first, which makes it really fun and interesting, not only from the audience perspective, but for the actors as well. And, um, and they come in and they decide, and then we rush backstage and go, ah, and come back out and act like everything is okay. In some cases, it begins as a mystery. In others, it begins as a romance. In others, it begins as a, a West Wing-style political thriller. The title alone was was like I have to read this. I have to I have to work on this. And then after I read it, I realized it was smarter than than somebody might think it is. Just because you you think Abraham Lincoln's big gay dance party, you think it's just a big frivolous night out, just a lot of gay jokes. And it's not just that. It, it also deals with real life circumstances. You gay is the new black people. Let's get real, Anton. You boys live in the richest cities in the world. Now scratch that, the richest neighborhoods in the richest cities. And yet when someone hurts your feelings, you beautiful men with your awesome hair and expensive clothes and perfect teeth start talking like your sharecroppers from Mississippi. <laughs> At one point we're extremely serious and trying to, you know, hammer home a point and the next minute we're running around and yelling, screaming and, you know, acting crazy. So um, it, it's just wacky. I mean, you can't even put words to it almost because, um, and it keeps the audience um, on, on edge because you just don't know what's going to happen next. The, most of the vaudevillian stuff comes in a form of a, an instant dream or a thought like, oh my God, and this is what happens inside the guy's brain. So then you're back to reality. It's <laughs> and <laughs> Vince Pesci has just put together an amazing, I mean, I'm, I get to dance in the show, which I didn't think I'd be doing <laughs> ever again, but here I am doing every style from Latin cha-cha to the rumba to uh, country line dancing to the waltz. So, you know, you just get bombarded with all these wonderful, fabulous um, dance styles, which just adds to the piece and makes it even more wacky and fun. I, I just think it's genuinely a funny, funny play. Uh, hugely theatrical, which I love. And it's, it's, a, it's very moving, and it's about something about who we are as Americans, our history. Something may happen up here that may change how you thought you thought about issues, you know, social issues, human issues. The wonderful thing about it is that they're not going to be beat over the head with it. They're going to be hit in the face with a lemon meringue pie. So it's going to be fun, it's going to be poignant, and they're just going to have a great time. I think the thing that you're going to see is a big, surprising, funny, smart play that's going to make you think and hopefully laugh out loud a ton of times. Come in just completely open-minded and go on for the ride, because it's pretty, it's pretty amazing ride.